So I had this song called Making Good, and I'll play a little bit of, uh, of the song for you. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you'll, you'll get an idea of, of what it was. This used to be the first song that Elphaba sang when she first arrived, and she used to sing it as she was getting on a train about to go off to university. <laughs> Long, long last, I'm making my way out of here. Erase the past, it's as of today. Clean and clear today, I start my quest to find my special destiny. Do more than just the best I could. Cause in my gut, I know I can do something great. I don't know what yet, but when I'm through, just you wait when they see all I've done. They'll tell me you're so wonderful. We wish back then we'd understood you'd be making good. And the song sort of went on from there. And we did it at several readings. And um, it, it always got a sort of nice, uh, nice response. Um, but I just could tell that it wasn't really landing the way I felt the, the song needed to land for the character. People would come afterwards and they would talk about songs that they liked, and, and that song never came up. And um, <laughs> so that wasn't a good sign. Um, <laughs> and, and, and it also didn't really seem to work for Adina. And so uh, I thought, well, maybe, maybe Adina being the sort of really uh, rock'em, sock'em, high-energy type performer, maybe I need to take the idea of a song called Making Good and, and, and just make it more high-energy. And um, again, as I said, she was about to get on a train, and I thought, well, I'll, I'll do something that sort of uses the rhythm of a train and, and drives more. And so I wrote a whole other version of Making Good. Again, I won't play the whole thing for you, but it went like this. <laughs> Once that train leaves the station, far away from here I will stay. Till the morning I will return in triumph as you shout hooray. Someday, someday, you're gonna build me a statue right in my old neighborhood to show how ashamed you are that you never understood. I'd be making good, making good, sort of so on and went on like that. And um, we did that at a few more readings. And, and again, I still felt that I'd sort of moved sideways, that, uh, that it hadn't really, it was different, but it hadn't really gotten us any further along. And so um, similar to what happened in the story I told before about Corner of the Sky, I finally said, you know what, I have to just junk this whole idea. I just have to start from scratch. And I, I talked to Whitney about it, and we discussed the whole moment. And what emerged is that, first of all, we were in Oz. And what people want in Oz, when they want to fix something that's wrong, is they go to the wizard, and the wizard fixes everything for them. And so I this should be a song about that, about going to the wizard. And, and so I, I trashed the idea of making good and decided to do a song about her desire to... to, to get to the wizard. Um, and then I thought, of, I started to think about Adina, and I remembered something that I had learned when I saw Chorus Line. Um, when I saw Chorus Line, um, and I saw it uh, downtown before it had moved up to Broadway, and I didn't really know very much about it, and the curtain call happened, this famous curtain call, and all these characters came out in their little gold lame suits and gold hats, and they started dancing around the stage. And I, uh, and I remember thinking, oh, and now they're going to come down stage and get in a line and kick. Very cynically, I thought. And, and so they came downstage, danced around, and they came in a line, but they didn't kick. They went around and danced some more. And I thought, oh, OK. And then they came downstage again, and we got in a line. And I thought, well, they're going to kick now, right? <laughs> um, and they didn't. They danced around some more. This is how smart Michael Bennett was. And then finally, at the end of this very long, wonderful curtain call, they all came downstage in a big line, and they kicked. And I was like, yay, they're kicking! 
And I learned a very valuable lesson from that, <laughs> which is if something is obligatory, it's good to make the audience wait for it until they really want it. And I thought about Adina and I thought, you know, here's what we know about Adina Menzel, the people who know her from, um, uh, from Rent and, and The Wild Party. We know that she's gonna come out and belt because that's what Adina does. So what if, I, in this new song that I'm gonna write, I make them wait a really, really long <laughs> time for her to belt. And so the combination of the new idea and doing that led to this song, and this is what worked, and this is what's in the show right now. I'm not gonna do the entire song, but um, I'll do enough so you get the idea. First of all, it starts with a little intro, which takes the tune of the other, of the second Making Good, and uses it. What's happened is that she's just performed a feat of magic at school, somewhat inadvertently, and is ashamed of it, but then gets recognized for it. And she sings, did that really just happen? Have I actually understood this weird quirk I've tried to suppress or hide? Is it a talent that could help me meet the wizard if I make good? So I'll make good. And that's the last mention of making good in the song. <laughs> Once I meet the wizard, once I prove my worth, and then I meet the wizard, what I've waited for since, since birth, and with all his wizard wisdom, by my looks he won't be blinded. Do you think the wizard is dumb? Or like munchkins, so small-minded, no. He'll say to me, I see who you truly are, a girl on whom I can rely. And that's how we'll begin, the wizard and I. Once I'm with the wizard, my whole life change because when you're with a wizard no one thinks you're strange no father is not proud of you no sister acts ashamed and all of us has to love you when by the wizard you're acclaimed and this gift or this curse I have inside maybe at last I'll know why oh what a pair will be the wizard and I, what a pair will be, the wizard and unlimited. My future is unlimited. And I've just had a vision, almost like a prophecy. I know it sounds truly crazy. And true, the vision's hazy, but I swear someday there'll be a celebration throughout Oz that's all to do with me. And then she belts, and I'll stand there with the wizard, feeling things I've never felt. And though I never show it, I'll be so happy I could melt And so it will be for the rest of my life And I want nothing else till I die Held in such high esteem When people see me they will scream For half of us is favorite team The wizard and I 